Hello Scorpio and Cross Watchers. This is Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another reading for the channel for the day commencing for May 9th, 2022. Let's go ahead and dive into the reading, shall we? Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers, and so it is. And of course, rolling the dice, see what we need to shuffle the deck to. We have the power of number 12. Some of you guys could be dealing straight up with a Pisces. There could definitely be some things that have still been in flux and or suspension in your current situation right now, Scorpio, whether this is in your romantic life or possibly your career life. Power of number four, we could see the emperor energy kick in. I'm also picking up on the four of cups and also four of swords and four of wands. Some of you could be going through a healing process right now. Power of number two, we could see the high priestess activity show up as well. Things that are uh, hidden right now behind the scenes or information that could be hidden right now. Um, looks like we are going to the number 18, which is in representation of the moon card. Uh, some of you could be dealing straight up with a Cancerian. Um, you could also be dealing with the Libra. I'm seeing the justice card energy popping in. Some of you are dealing with Sagittarius's. Um, Gemini energy I'm also picking up on, Aquarius or Pisces energy throughout the month of February, Aries and or Taurus uh, energy throughout the month of April, power of number eight also circulating in there. You could also be dealing with a Leo or a Virgo throughout the month of August more specifically. And we could see any of the aces kick in so you could be dealing with any zodiac sign, okay? Power of number 18. Let's see what is going on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Trusted ancestors on my Scorpio viewers and my Scorpio subscribers. What is the overall general message for this collective reading for the day commencing for May 9th of 2022, please? Whether this is in regards to family, friends, social media platforms, romantic situations, a specific person, if it's an ex, new soulmate activity, career and or finances. What's going on, please? Mm, eight of swords, but in the reverse. Yeah. I feel like this energy is in both directions, but technically I saw it come up in the reverse. Right now, Scorpio, you could feel like you're getting out of some kind of a situation where you felt immobile. Maybe it's just a matter of breaking free from certain traditions or certain ways of thinking, you might be starting to think outside of the box and maybe not putting so much restrictions on yourself. Mm-hmm. There could be a waiting process or maybe you're not waiting anymore, Scorpio, for somebody in particular or for a particular situation. Princess of Pentacles, in this deck with the Tarot Illuminati deck, I look at this as the Knight of Pentacles. There could be things that are moving a little bit far too slow for you right now. And you, some of you guys are just kind of like, not necessarily so much like, oh, I'm so fed up. Some of you could be feeling that way, but some of you are just like, you know what, I'm not waiting around for this or that. So what I'm picking up, it's like I'm seeing the chariot card in my mind's eye right now. A lot of you are just like, you know what, I'm going to let the wind blow through my hair and I'm just going to go do me. This is what I'm picking up. 
You're not waiting around for something in particular, Scorpio. Some of you could be weighing out choices and options right now. Yeah, some of you have just, I don't know. I'm kind of getting not necessarily a wishy-washy energy. There's somebody coming in possibly to bring you an apology. It could be a token, a gift, a love offer, a gesture, the Prince of Cups. And I look at this as the Page of Cups. So this energy has a tendency to follow suit of um, like the Judgment Card energy. Um, you might have made needed to make a particular Judgment Call maybe over the last could be the last eight hours, eight days, the last eight weeks. Just something here just might be moving far too slow for you. And a lot of you guys are just ready to advance or get to a next level with something in particular because I'm, I'm seeing the Six of Wands in my mind's eye right now. So um, you may have decided not to wait for some form of an apology to come in. Maybe it's from a specific person. Maybe it's a text message you're waiting for. Um, you know, it, breaking free, you know, kind of like, eh, you know what, I'm going to kind of mm, wash my hands of this situation, whatever it is, Scorpio, that you're dealing with. Who or what is the Prince of Cups? Okay, King of Pentacles, somebody who could be showing some form of interest in you, Scorpio, male or female, doesn't matter. Could be more specifically an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I've got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy going on. Um, a lot of you are just going to start doing you and just start building up a business right now for some of you or just focus in on your career right now. It's not necessarily that you guys have given up so much on your love life. It's just, I don't know. It could just be a mood that you're going through right now to where you're like, you know what? Things are just moving far too slow. I'm a hustler. I'm going to, you know, keep moving forward, progressing forward. And I'm not waiting around. I, I just keep hearing, I am not waiting around anymore. I'm going to go see what life has to offer or see who, what other fish are out there in the sea or checking out different job opportunities. I'm not going to wait on this. I think it could just be for a while, Scorpio, you've just been waiting and waiting and waiting. And it's not to say that you're not worthy of a relationship or worthy of the you know, the right career, the right job. I think right now this is just a matter of self-discovery. You know, maybe just to clearly see what you're made of and just, you know what, just be like, I'm going to work on my goals. I'm going to work on my body. I'm going to change my health, my diet, my looks, my hair. You know, it could just be a whole numerous things, conglomerate of things, okay? But... I feel like some of you are just not going to wait for, I'm picking up in more specifically, you're not going to be waiting around for somebody in particular. Um, it's not to say that you don't care or that you're not interested. It's just, I think some of you have gotten bored with a particular situation and this is just maybe how some of you are feeling right now. And it's okay to feel this way. It's okay to be like, mm, you know what, I got to go do me. Go do you, I'll go do me, okay? That's kind of what I'm picking up on. Some of you are waiting for a job opportunity for sure to come forward. Who or what is the king of pentacles? Three of Pentacles could be a co-worker situation, um, could be a work environment, or it could be also too with the Three of Pentacles clarifying the King of Pentacles. This could be about a marriage contract. This could be about waiting for a marriage proposal, or maybe some of you guys are engaged and a lot of you haven't set plans for a official wedding date. 
you know, maybe some of you have given a, a particular partner that you could be dealing with, that you could be engaged to, or have been in a long-term partnership to be like, okay, are you ever going to pop the question? You know, this is kind of what I'm also hearing too from spirit. Some of you are just not going to wait around. It's just, for some of you guys, it's just been far too long um, to wait on an answer in order for your happiness to kick in. So, yeah, I'm feeling this particular energy is just, you're going to go do you, Scorpio. That That's what I'm picking up. Give me a message from the Three of Pentacles, please. Yeah, King of Cups. Somebody who could be very deeply in love with you or they're caught up in their emotions right now. Or there could be two choices in love. And maybe these two choices in love, male or female, doesn't matter. Maybe you're dealing with the water sign more specifically and also an earth sign at the same time for some of you. Um, very, very much picking up on energy of the fire signs, even though I don't have fire activity just yet. Um, some of you may be trying to make a decision for yourself or maybe trying to see the truth of maybe two different choices in love right now. You could be dealing with somebody who is a new soulmate or somebody who, okay, you could have a new soulmate energy and also if there's another choice in love that you're having a hard time making a decision, this other person could be already married or attached to somebody and it could very well be true that there are two kings here or it could be queen energy, it doesn't really matter, that two people that could be highly interested in you but nobody's really, they're both, if you're dealing with two different people and picking up that both of these people are taking their sweet ass time to make a move. This is what I'm also picking up. Or this person has said to you, Scorpio, that they really care about you. They really want to get to know you, but it's just going far too slow. And you're just like, yeah. You know, if I'm going to dive into a deep, serious, committed partnership, I need something here of more substance. This is what I'm hearing off of the cards. And this could be the reason why maybe you're taking back control of your thoughts, taking back control of not being stuck in your head, putting yourself into situations that you feel you can't get out of. You know, it's just, yeah. Breaking free. Yeah, some of you guys are just going to, for the for a little while, just focus in on your career and your success right now. And maybe you're in this mood of, hey, I've got better fish to fry. Some of these, okay, if you're dealing with somebody in particular or an interest, a love interest, specific person, if it's an ex, if it's a long-term committed partnership, there could be, for some of you today, where this person may be highly expressive. You could be dealing with an Aries straight up for some of you. I get the Fool card. Some of you could also be a dog owner. Might have a Bichon, a Bichon or Maltese. And the Kita I'm also picking up on. Um, somebody here is also a fool in love with you, Scorpio. But the but is that it's taking too too long. Now, the thing about the Knight of Pentacles, and but like I said, in this deck, it's like the Princess of Pentacles. So <clears throat> a lot of you could see the future with this particular person. You've gotten a vision. And the vision is going well. It's not to say that you're trying to be a Debbie Downer. You're just ready for forward movement. That's not just going to be so effing slow. This is what I'm picking up. So some of them could be reaching out to you today. Message from the Fool. Yeah, somebody's, okay, either you're waiting for your person to get a freaking clue to a source, God almighty, 
God, you guys, I am so feeling the energy of this reading. It's unreal. <laughs> Two of swords in the reverse. Yeah, you're waiting for this person to get a freaking clue. And to open their eyes to see what they have right in front of them and to make some kind of freaking solid decision. I'm telling you, I'm feeling it, you guys. You know? And I... <laughs> God, I know, I know. Because you know what? Some of you are just, you don't have the time to play around anymore. <laughs> time to pick up the ball and jacks and go home. <laughs> oh my God. This person that you're dealing with, two of swords in the reverse. Some of you are dealing straight up with the Capricorn. But yet, you're so drawn to this person. Yeah, you're, you're feeling the attachment. Maybe you feel an emotional attachment towards this person, Scorpio, or they're obsessing over you, or you've been obsessing over them. Um, but again, it just go. It's, it's something here is keeping you chained and bound to something that, no, like, I'm going to set myself free. I'm not going to be chained or bound to somebody who cannot progress or help me progress this uh, romantic love connection um, along in a, a beautiful way. You know, um, some of you also feel very tied or chained down to work right now. And maybe some of you guys are just stressing out so much that your day in day out routine feels redundant. And it's like, it feels like maybe things are just not, it's boring. I'm, I'm picking up some of you guys are just going through a lot of boring energy right now. And you're waiting for something new. You're waiting for a fresh start. And it feels like right now for some of you guys that the only thing that could seem positive might be your work life. But a lot of you are getting tired of that because you feel like a lot of you are meant to do something great or become a millionaire, a billionaire, have your own business, work from home, etc. So I'm when I'm picking up the undercurrent, even though there's a romantic situation, there's a lot of frustration and anger that I'm picking up on and just boredom. Um, it's not to say that you don't feel that you're worthy, Scorpio. You know that you're worthy of a relationship. You know that you're worthy and, you know, you know that you're not meant to go through lack or feel cold or rejected or waiting for somebody's text message to come in and it's taking forever and it's been eight hours, ten hours, three days, five days, two weeks, BS energy, right? So I feel like what Spirit is saying is, look, cut in the middle of the deck, the Seven of Pentacles. It's okay to go plant your seeds somewhere else, Scorpio. Go build your garden of prosperity, wealth, health, and abundance. Okay? Because that can be a magnetic attractor for you, which might in turn, once you start focusing in on yourself, and it's not like you're not doing that, um... I get it. I've been there with the spirits before you guys. And, you know, you just you focus at the end of the day. If somebody's not coming forward the way that you want them to, just focus in on your success. Okay? Focus in on your growth because that is something that can turn into something tangible that you can feel it, sense it, know it, and become exceptionally successful. Spirit is not saying to give up on your romantic life by any means, but they could be saying here also too, cut cords, cut ties. You might need to do some cord cutting rituals to pass previous lovers that you're not even interested anymore, but you still might be sexually chained and bound to their energy from the past. And so um, that might be something that could be helpful for you to where you might end up getting more substance, like more um, sustainable energy when it comes to a new partner. Show me the me message from the devil, please. Yeah, it's maybe it's just, again, maybe it's time for you to be the tower, Scorpio. Instead of 
waiting for, you know, electricity to strike. Maybe whatever foundation that you feel was built up maybe wasn't exactly built on a solid foundation. So, again, maybe you are the one that needs to be the bolt of lightning and strike down, basically, on a metaphoric level, the things that are not working in your life. And not to be afraid if you feel compelled to walk away from something that is just taking far too long. Because your life, guess what? Your life is just as important as that next person or as that soulmate or twin flame or the soulmate, whatever you want to label your person, okay? Um, that doesn't mean you need to get nasty or sarcastic with this person. You know, you can talk things out in a rational way. And maybe when you become that bolt of lightning, this is where you're going to get your ten of cups. And you'll have that over the rainbow moment. Message from the tower. We're going to end this reading. Yeah, balancing out your energy, Scorpio. Six of Pentacles. Give your time and energy to people that you know that are going to appreciate you right now. Or where your energy is best going to be fulfilled. And right now, it could just be in your career life and gaining up more momentum, more financial stability, etc. The love will come. It's going to come. But a lot of you are just, you're, you're, I can see clearly now the rain is gone. Getting out of a stuck position that is just no longer working for you, okay? Scorpio, cross watchers, thank you so much for the love and support of my channel. If you'd like to book a personal reading and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com. Until next time, take care.